for it TV. The world is thinking. People not unlike us are figuring out the future of television. Wrong. What's happening is that uh, a million people uploading their own videos is collectively figuring out the future of television. We are, everyone says YouTube, but isn't it full of crap? And the answer is yes, and that's what makes it so great. Because, because your crap is not my crap. And, um, no, but and, it's all still crap. Well, but, 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 um, uh, the, way, the way nature approaches, approaches evolution is that like, we're gonna try everything. We are going to, uh, the dandelion seeds will float everywhere. Almost all of them will land in, in, on the sidewalk and die, but maybe one of them might find this new, this new place. Um, you know, uh, mammals, mammals are very unusual. We as mammals are, 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 are unique in that we have few offspring, so we treasure our offspring. You've got four kids, I've got five kids. Um, you know, I treasure them most of the time. I treasure them most of the time. But, but by and large, I'm trying to ensure they reach adulthood. <laughs> you know, a tuna, will lay three million eggs. You know, by and large, it does not ensure that its children reach adulthood, and by and large, most of them don't. You know, the, the, what, you, what you're doing is, you, is, is in, in economic terms, you're fully exploring the potential space. By throwing a lot of crap at the wall, by throwing a lot of crap at YouTube, every video that can be made will be made. Every videographer who can make a video will be made. And we may discover that the future of television is not Raymond, but instead Lonely Girl 15, or soldering videos. Or, or instead, or, or all of the above. Or we watch uh, Susan Boyle sing "I Dream to Dream" two million times. You got a problem with that? No, it was a lovely song, but that's the future of television. Well, there is no one future of television. Here's the here's the here's the dirty secret, right? Um, we're not all alike. Um, you know, when I was a kid, when I came home from school, and you you're the you're, you're the set, but same age as me, so you know what I'm talking about. You came home from school, there were four channels, right? And there was only one show appropriate, and it was Gilligan's Island. Oh, so, see, I got Mikhail's Navy, actually, which oh, is okay, you, L.A. Yeah. Um, so, um, so I watched Gil Gillen's Island, and, and had you looked at the Nielsen statistics of 1977, um, you would have said that it turns out that 14-year-old boys love Gilligan's Island. It is the number one show with 14-year-old boys. It's exactly, that we have defined, we have, we have found the perfect show. Well, turns out that if you only give people one show to watch, they'll watch that show. What we want to do is watch television. We didn't necessarily want to watch this. Some of us wanted to watch Gilligan's Island, but had we been given the internet, maybe we wouldn't have been watching Gilligan's Island. Well, that's what's happening. Um, I, 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 my, I, in, the story, in the book, I tell the story of my, um, I, my wife is a very tough mom, and um, she allows the children two hours of screen time a weekend. Wow. And we said, you can have uh, Star Wars, two hours of Star Wars. You can watch Star Wars as George Lucas only dreamed it, you know, um, upscaling DVD on, on, on the projector, surround sound, we're going to make you popcorn, um, any, any one of the five, any one of the six. Um, or you can go on YouTube and watch Star Wars stop action um, animations made by seven-year-olds with Lego figures. And they're like, YouTube! <laughs> Had no interest in Star Wars as George Lucas imagined it. What they wanted to do was watch what you and I would consider crap. And by the way, Star Wars stop motion animations made by seven-year-olds are are yeah. really crap. I mean, yeah. they put their fingers in the screen. <laughs> um, you know, the voice acting, it just, it just, it, 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 but it's relevant. It's what they want. As a matter of fact, they actually, actually, they started watching Star Wars. They, they actually even aren't that interested in Star Wars. What they wanted to watch was toy soldier animations made by seven-year-olds. Um, so that is, so, so by any normal definition of quality, it's, it's crap. And yet, that's exactly what they want. We never knew it. No, no, no committee, no, no boardroom, no team ever realized that the perfect uh, television for seven-year-olds was television made by other seven-year-olds. And it all happens because of this abundance, which lets us get to free. Because we let seven-year-olds waste storage, bandwidth, and processing, we discover the future of television. I'm sure you saw Malcolm Gladwell on his interview, in his no, review in the New Yorker. He, uh, uh, he, he makes the, the, the example of YouTube. <laughs> YouTube and Google, and how you know they're just giving away this bandwidth, yeah. and that's great. But with you know 75 bajillion people uploading things, close enough to be free still adds up to real money. I believe he he, he suggests that YouTube would qualify for TARP funds. Yes, he's a very good writer. He's a smart guy. Um, you know, uh, um, completely wrong. I'm shocked. I'm my shocked. colleague, by the way, I need to disclose this. New Yorker is my sister publication to Condé Nast. He's my colleague. I have huge respect. I, you know, I'll, I, I, I wish someday I could be the kind of writer he is. But he knows nothing about YouTube. Um, I, I, was at, I was at Google last week. Um, uh, you know, let, me, let, let us count the errors. Um, first of all, nobody knows how much 
YouTube. YouTube, by the way, is a subsidiary of Google, for those of you who don't know. Um, nobody knows how much YouTube uh, loses. It does lose money. I'll, 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 I'll get to that in a minute. But it does lose money. But, but these speculation about the, the, the hundreds of billions of dollars. Google, this is a little, little wonky, but indulge me. Go ahead. Google it doesn't buy bandwidth retail. They buy dark fiber. You know, Google owns a good fraction of the internet. Um, they're not they're not paying Comcast the, the, their, their ISP. Um, you know, the, the, the Google has 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 server farms that make like the, you know the, the 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 River Rouge plant look small. Um, you don't we don't understand the scale at which they work. Their their costs are nothing like what what Malcolm said. They're, he's off by like an order of magnitude. Um, second point. Google makes money from YouTube. YouTube doesn't have to make money. Google makes money from YouTube because what Google has, Google has like 300 services of which um, maybe 290 are free. What Google wants you to do is exactly as you said at the beginning, what Google wants you to do is to use the internet. And the more you use the internet, the more you will leave traces of information. Um, your actions make, let Google make more money by selling ads. Um, the, the, the attachment to the Google network will ultimately benefit new, uh, Google. And whether it's that you, you know, switch from YouTube to one of the other services that they monetize, or whether the information between the videos you upload and the videos you watch allow Google to create smarter businesses elsewhere, they will extract, they will extract money. And in, in economics, it's called a compliment. You give away the mustard for free to make the hot dog more attractive. Um, no, one, no one says that, mustard's, that mustard sachets qualify for TARP funds, because they understand that it's a bigger business here. It's the hot dog business. Last point, YouTube is five years old. YouTube has acquired a network television sized audience. Never in human history or never in the history of advertising, same thing really, um, <laughs> have advertisers not found a way to follow the herd, to follow, you know, to follow the, the, the audience. When we invented the car, advertisers very quickly invented the billboard. You know, as we moved to television, advertisers quickly understood that, you know, that maybe that static picture could be a moving picture. Um, it took them a little while to get that, that static picture to, to move. Um, we will, f as the audience has moved to YouTube, we will find a way to move uh, to video advertising to YouTube as well. The reason that we can't just take television advertising and put it on YouTube is because television advertising is mass to mass. Coke ad against American Idol. Okay, what do you put against a cat video? What do you put against my favorite soldering tutorial? You know, Coke ad against soldering tutorial, not such a good fit. How do we make video ads that are as granular as YouTube is? It'll take us a while. We'll get there.